Hello everybody, this is Monster and Blubber coming at you with another Kindred Fates team review. This time we have another one of the Senpai's teams. We have the absolute classic in there that, um, you know, when the final game comes out, we're pretty much going to have to play this exact build of Ember just for the nostalgia of it. It's been talked to death, so I'm not going to really talk about it, besides just Ember's a good bruiser, and you're going to use him for trades, and you're going to use him for good burst damage. Shovelet, this is a classic Shovelet build. We have, you know, Earth Swipes instead of Rock Wall, which I do prefer. Everything else is completely standard for Shovelet. You really love to see the Coffee Bean Rest combo. Dig can help you get away to rest better. Quicksand plus Rock Slide is good for your damage. Um, something I might not have talked about a little bit um, before, so I'll give me an excuse to talk about Ember, is if you do Quicksand, it makes it very easy to scorch them while they're in the quicksand. Like you throw quicksand on them, switch to Ember, throw scorches on them, and then maybe even hit them with an explosion. If they're a kinfolk who does not have movement abilities to get out of there, then they're going to be in for a very, very bad time. Or at the very least, you're going to guarantee to get them to use their movement abilities if they, even if they do have them. So Avion is the one I want to point out the most here. This is a build of abilities we've seen on avion before in decent Pies team so i've commented on that already where it's a very good mix between main uh, ranged and melee you have good dive bomb movement you have escape draft that can be used for combos and good damage homing blast and twister are good for ranged all that stuff the one thing i will say i think rations is one of the worst maybe even the worst uh item that you could put on avion avion's just simply not gonna live long enough for rations to recover avion's way too squishy like look at avion's health as incredibly low health incredibly low defense both special and normal it's just avion's not gonna give value out of rations you would put that rations on skulkin every single time on this team and give avion really anything probably black mask would be my suggestion but if you were kind of scared of black mask and wanted to go with a slightly uh, safer avion you could just give avion you know chrysanthemum and just just a case scenario but rations is completely wasted on avion compared to sulkin once again i prefer crescent strike over dark volley but otherwise the skulkin has a completely solid build Chrysanthidote does bring me back to my days where I used to run Chrysanthidote on my Skulkin. I like Chrysanthidote Skulkin in the way that if you have to have rations on someone else, maybe you have a little Mala and you want rations on them or something like that, but well, that's not even really as viable anymore because Lumala could just heal your uh, kinfolk by switching to Lumala and then switching to them with their passive, but if for whatever reason you need rations on someone else, then... Chrysanthidote is a good secondary option for Skulkin because that it lets you counter enemy Skulkins. Like you can run into a Skulkin fight, throw your Caustic Cloud, put yourself into a position where you're not ideal, and then risk getting hit by theirs. Because if you hit them with yours, they're going to get poisoned unless they also have Chrysanthidote, and then you're not. So that's why I like Sentinel Skulkin because you can get in there and do like a very, very effective trade. Um, which most of the time you're just not going to be able to get away with a trade like that. Overall, for the general idea behind this team, I think that it has a really nice balance. Um, thing to keep irking me, I don't want to just make the whole video about this, but the rations being on the Avion instead of the Skulkin, that is the worst part of this team. I think if you put the rations on the Skulkin and Black Mask on the Avion, then this team would be actually really good. You have a good mix of sustainability with damage with Ember. You have a really tough kinfolk to take out with uh, Shovelet that also has great utility with Quicksand and a little bit of Rock Slide for some zone control. Avion has incredible burst damage, and Skulkin has great debuff with Homing Blast to do chip damage, Caustic Cloud to do sustain damage, Teleport for movement. Just, it has everything you'd love. But the item choice right there with the rations and the Xanthidote kind of make the team fall apart. Which I guess goes to show that item choice really does matter. And it makes me even look forward to more items being added in the future. But this team is sadly... I were going to 
probably place in the not viable camp because that if you fight an enemy who is really trying to win then the avion is basically just take sucking up rations and they're not really going to get used to any real degree but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this is my boba signing off hope you all join me next time until then goodbye god bless and have a wonderful day bye bye